Prosper. This is Dave Buck. Welcome to the Chattanooga Autism Conference 10th Annual. Yeah, baby! Hello world, I'm Maya Ryan and I'd like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. Uh, so far I've been able to share my own experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum. The second thing that I will do is give my two cents on autism in the media. The third area entails providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum as well as your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers. It's after 6 a.m. and I had slept really well and it was one of those nights that once I yep, fell asleep and I woke up a few times, it felt like the night was going to last forever. So I really felt like I got that good night's sleep and woke up before the alarm on my phone went off. But anyway, before I went to sleep last night, I drank this. Uh, these are at Whole Foods, and this is probably one of the reasons why in the world my bill went over on picking things up for lunch yesterday before uh, boarding that mega bus and headed up here to Chattanooga. But I don't know if this is a placebo effect or not. This is supposed to be a shot that gives you vital proteins. Although the last couple of nights, I mean, I bought two of these. I fell asleep. Uh, these are nice. They are nice and tart. It tastes like blueberry lemonade. Can't really taste the lavender, but I don't know if it actually worked or if that's the placebo effect. I just know those are nice to drink once in a while. And I thought that the lavender would be calming and soothing, but anyway, I am about to get up and drink this coffee and I'm about to well, head on out and I am going to get dressed. So I'll see you in a bit. And I wanted to let you know that I just got dressed. I'm going to put my makeup on, but I want to talk about something else while I sip my coffee. And in just a teeny bit, I'm going to be heading downstairs and going to get breakfast, but I wanted to talk about something else that's on my mind. So as you can see, my hair is pretty short and I wanted to verify that I hate it. And let me tell you why. So first of all, yes, I wear my hair short and I like to keep it that way because there are two things I wanna put out there. No, I am not a lesbian and I'm not transgender. My pronouns are she and they will forever be she because I was born that way. But I typically cut my hair to, uh, and I typically bring in a picture of Jennifer Goodwin, who is the actress on Once Upon a Time. And my hair is usually a little bit longer and it usually has a softer touch. This time I went to a different stylist because um, the lady that usually knows how to cut my hair wasn't there. Oh, well, usually it's not a salon. I usually go to Great Clips, by the way. But... Uh, this time I had a different lady. I'd never had her before. I mean, she went a little too crazy on the clippers. She didn't really pay attention. And she cut my bangs too short. I mean, that woman was a dingbat. Oh no, I cut your bangs too short. And so I'm thinking about having to uh, get my money back because uh, I didn't pay to well, get a buzz cut. I didn't pay to have that rock star look. Um, I just... I paid to look more like Jennifer Goodwin. I mean, not look like her, but have my hair look like it. Because I hate this. I hate this, the way the bangs look in the front. I hate the clippers. Again, usually when uh, Carol does my hair, uh, it's a little softer. Uh, there's not as much work in the clippers. She just, she shaves a little bit down here, and then she, she works the rest of it with scissors. And what she does is much more... Uh, feminine looking. This is just too harsh and I don't like it. Now luckily hair grows and the nice thing is I have lots of people supporting me. They're not they're not telling me it looks bad. They tell me that well you look like you're ready for the summer. That's a good look for your face. You, that face suits you. 
And, but yeah, that's not what I paid for though. However, uh, what do you think? Do you think I look terrible? Or do you think she should have uh, paid attention? Or do you think I'm just overreacting? Let me know. I just talked to someone at the Starbucks in here. First of all, they don't have regular breakfast in there like they did at the Starbucks downtown. And they have a buffet, but that's $15. And I'm not going to pay that much. If I want to do a buffet, I can find something for a lot less. Like, Actually, although Golden Corral in Atlanta is pretty steep too, but I think the cheapest buffet is probably uh, Cece's Pizza and they're terrible. But I'm going to have a regular breakfast today and then I'm going to well, head off to the conference. Breakfast. For me today, it's two eggs over easy. I used to hate eggs too over easy because I didn't like the texture when I was younger. But now that I'm older, I like that runny yolk all over my turkey bacon at home. And then I'm doing hash browns today because uh, they didn't have any traditional turkey bacon. And then some cranberry juice and then it's off. Thank you. To my vlogs, to public speaking, and this amazing opportunity. Thank you, God. All right. Thank you so much. Bye now. Okay, pick this up. I got free cranberry juice, and I had a chance to chat with the waitress, but it looks like They've changed out the uniforms and they did some renovations at this restaurant. I'm on my way downstairs to the convention center now for the autism conference. I don't want to be late. I have a full day and I'm not only shooting my vlogs, but I'm also speaking today in addition to promoting my vlogs and the, the brand a franchise Hello World with Maya. And I was actually wearing my, my custom made t-shirt that has the Hello World with Maya logo on it. And what it is, is it's a globe. And of course it says Hello World with Maya with my catchphrase, here's what I have to say about that. And then I have a puzzle piece on it and it looks like a satellite. Um, orbiting the planet instead of the moon and I consider it to be more like a uh, international space station I prefer to call it the autistic space station and the puzzle piece is um, is run by individuals who are autistic and it's uh, the autistic spectrum just don't use the acronym which spells a s s autistic space station and i tell people don't use the acronym because then they pick it up right away so <sighs> number 42 yep so hello world with maya is at 42 so you're going to be pretty much almost in the center to the right. Okay, thanks. Okay, and all your badges and everything is on there. You guys are great. So you guys are a service provider? Yes. That's great. I work for the Center for Leadership and Disability as well, but then I'm presenting myself. Uh, this is just something that I'm doing. It's nothing to do with where I work. It's just self-promotion. I am so glad that they positioned me uh, across from somebody that is popping popcorn because people will be drawn to my table, YouTube. 
people will be drawn. There are 600 people registered, so I could possibly have uh, 600 new subscribers, so it'll be 700 all together. vlogs and show promoting them at the same time so this is my uh, first exhibitor table right here at the autism conference and I'm in the process of promoting my vlogs and what I'm doing is I am educating people by building up a portfolio and selling my work which is something that dr. Grandin always puts out whenever she does her talks and she does her books so my YouTube channels are my portfolio, in addition to all the video editing and my face behind the camera, in addition to my writing skills and all the knowledge. So it's time to put those laws into motion and sell my work and here's is right there. Hello. It's lunchtime. This is Jonathan. Yeah, and one of your colleagues is a follower on my YouTube, Nathan Zimmerman. Thank you so much for following me and watching me. Be sure to share me with anybody possible. Live long and prosper. Okay, I saw these cute little earrings that other people were wearing. What do you think? I got these earrings today at the puzzle or at the conference. They should obviously call this the Puzzle Piece Conference instead of the Autistic Conference, YouTube. Well, uh, that's it for today's edition. If you like what I'm doing, give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Uh, I would like to eventually tell you about these earrings I might in the next episode. But in the meantime, I'm going to charge up my phone and get ready for a talk and then I am going to be doing mine in another hour or so. But again, thank you for those that came out to my booth today and those who are learning more about me. Uh, be sure to check out my channel trailer and start from the beginning and work your way up. Until next time, my name is Maya Ryan, or in this case, it's still Sendermeyer because that's my legal last name. But I'd prefer it if you use the name Ryan because that's what I'm going to be changing my name to. Until next time, my name is Maya and I'm signing off. Bye. Bon appetit.